Hi everybody, it's such a privilege to be able to share the devotions with you this morning and for the next two mornings after that. And I want to be centering everything I say around Proverbs 3 verse 5 and 6, such a powerful scripture. And it says this, it says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart, lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. I don't think there's any of us who don't want our paths to be made straight. I think it's every one of our heart's desire. And the thing is with trust, trust is critical for every relationship we have, whether it's on this earth with our spouse and our children and our friendships, our leadership, trust is critical. It's actually the place that we can stand that feels steady when there is lack of trust. It actually means that we're, we draw away, we don't draw near. And so God is encouraging us that we need to trust him with all of our heart. And in Jeremiah 17, it says this, in verse 5, it says, Thus says the Lord, cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his strength, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a shrub in the desert and shall not see any good come. He shall dwell in the parched places of the wilderness in an uninhabited salt land. I think that scripture, it, it paints such a miserable kind of uh, dry life where there is no source of life from anywhere else other than what I'm seeking in a human being or in myself. But then in verse 7 it says, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. Trust is in who God is, whose nature is to you and me. He is like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when heat comes, for its leaves remain green and is not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. You know, God doesn't prom promise that there will not be heat and there will not be drought, but he does promise that if we turn to him, if our hearts turn to God, that he promises to be sufficient for you and me. And when we look throughout scripture at the nature of God towards us at all times, we need to come into agreement in our hearts with how he demonstrates himself to his people. He says uh, in Psalm 119, it says, he is my hiding place. It says, he is my shield. He is my safety. Uh, the writer says, hold me up that I may be safe. You know, this is the father we come to. The father that says to me, I'm your hiding place. I am your safe place. You can trust me. Your trust needs to be in me, not in how you see things, but in my nature. And I just... Um, I just consider the nature of God and how he sent his son, Jesus. And, and we, we hear so much about the suffering of Jesus and what he left behind. Behind all of that is a father who chose to do that for you and me. Why would his heart towards you and me end? It is consistently like that every day. Every morning you wake up, his mercies are new towards you. Every night you go to sleep, he is aware of the thoughts um, and attitudes of your heart. And the stance of God towards us is that he desires us to trust him because trust brings us close. Mistrust pushes us away. We, well, we actually draw away if, when we mistrust. If you think of relationships in your life where you don't trust someone, you don't come near to them. You actually draw away from them. But trust actually wants us to uh, uh, form a deeper bond. And that's what we need with God because he is so trustworthy. You know, um, throughout scripture, God encourages us to consider his nature and not his ways because we don't always understand his ways, but we can always be secure that we can, our trust would be God. His nature towards you and me is unerringly faithful and unerringly towards our good. And he loves us with an everlasting passion. And I just want to pray for us this morning that our hearts would turn, not turn away from you to things that do not provide um, the safety and security that our hearts long for, but that our hearts would turn to you every morning, Jesus, every lunchtime, every evening, we would turn to you because you are so trustworthy and we would find our safe place in you. We would find our security in you and we would find our hope in the nature of our God. 